Hey guys, Norman Gregor on the outside way for our island adventure. All right, I'm getting a lot of questions about the feasibility of using solar panels to uh, extend the range of your volt bike or to take it camping and use it as a charging source rather than a generator or some other source. So today we're going to look at the practicality of uh, trying to do that. And uh, so I've got a my volt bike, Yukon 750. I've got a solar panel. That's a 30 watt BP solar. Um, and I'm going to use this meter called a kilowatt to measure exactly how much uh, voltage, how many watts, and how many kilowatts of energy those batteries take to charge. So let's go. So my house runs on these 680 watt panels plus those, let's go way up there, those six. 250 watt panels and that's what I power my house and that's what I use to charge my volt bike for solar power. Alright guys so this is my 2017 Yukon 750. This comes with a 48 volt 12 point or 11.6 amp hour battery. Now the way to calculate how much power should go into this battery is you take your voltage which is 48 volts and you multiply the number of amp hours that the battery can hold. So if we take 48 times 11.6, we're going to have somewhere around just over five and a half kilowatts of power. I'll do the calculation on the screen here for you. Now, this solar panel is a 30 watt. Like I said before, it's two feet by three feet. This would be, even this would be difficult to take uh, with you but these panels are 12 volt small panels are all going to be 12 volt now to what you would have to do is you would have to get five of those and wire them in series so you'd be 60 volts because you always have to be higher than what you're charging at and then you're going to have to have a 48 volt controller so you're going to have five of these batteries wired in series um, to be able to charge your volt bike with that. Now that would be really, really impractical because the length of that, you're going to have probably 12 to 15 feet of solar panel in length. When you could turn it sideways and then it'd be 10 feet long. So that would work too. Now it's not impossible to do. I mean, there are companies out there uh, that do sell uh, kits. I think Ramble Bikes has a, it's a, it's five panels. It's a fold up kit that you can take with you. I think if you had a little trailer, it might be practical. They run about a thousand US. All right guys, so the battery is uh, really low now. Uh, here's my trip meter. I've got exactly 80 kilometers on this battery. Now this is a combination of pedaling and power assist one. And so I'm down to my last bar. So we're gonna, uh, Put this on the charger and see what it draws. Okay guys, so we're in my uh, basement and this is where my uh, solar system on my roof comes in. As you can see over there, I've got the power in, the charge controller, the mag design inverter, fuse box, and my auxiliary panel that I run off the of solar on there. I've also got the plug coming out and coming to here. And I've got the kilowatt plugged in. Now the first thing a kilowatt measures is your voltage. I'm sitting at 122.5 volts. Perfect. The next button over is how many amps you're drawing. There's none because we've got no load yet. How many watts you're drawing. We have no load yet again. Uh, number of hertz, 59.9 or 60 uh, hertz. And this button will tell you the total number of kilowatts that whatever you're charging will use. So let's go back to this. Again, you've got your volt bike battery. Always plug the charger into the battery first, like so. And then what you do is you plug your power in. So I'm just gonna set you down there. Sure it you fell over. And we're gonna plug in. Volt bike and the charger. Alright, batteries are red. 
or green and went to red. That's right. I was too slow on that to show you. Right, so what have we got? Now, we've got voltage is 121.8, basically the same. We are now pulling in 1.17 amp. So that's uh, 1.5, 1.7 amp. We're pulling in 97, 98, 99, so almost 100 watts of power. And again, we're running at 59.8 or 9 hertz. So kilowatts is still zero because it's just started. So we're going to come back when it's done, and uh, we're going to see how much power this battery takes to charge. Okay, guys, so we're here. It's five hours later, and the light is green on the charger. And we look at meter and we are showing 1.122 volt uh, we're still pulling in no we're pulling in 0.12 of an amp uh, that's giving me one watt so it's actually just in sort of like trickle mode it's uh, running at basically 60 Hertz 59.9 and we Put in this is the critical one this is the total number of kilowatt hours which is 0.58 so as uh, I said before just over half a kilowatt of power to charge this battery 48 volt at 11.6 amp hours is just over half a kilowatt which is exactly what went into this battery all right, guys, so now you see what it takes to uh, actually charge the battery of your Volt bike. Uh, you need a minimum of 100 watts of power at a time. You're going to be have to take five hours to charge it. You're going to have to have a power source that's going to give you about just over half a kilowatt of power. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big solar panel. Like I said, it's going to be about two and a half feet by 10 feet long. It's going to have to be uh, 60 volt at least uh, to be able to charge a Volt bike. Uh, using it as a camping alternative to charge your volt bike or trying to extend your range when you're out in the trails nah, I don't think so I think for those kind of applications a small generator like the sportsman which is an 800 or 1000 watt uh, inverter generator is going to give you in a much much smaller package uh, the ability to charge your volt bike and still be able to carry it around I set mine up at home as a base station because I power my house with it and uh, my system can easily charge the Volt bike. And uh, what I do to extend the range is I just bought an extra battery and uh, I use my Volt bike waterproof pannier bags and carry the battery with me. And uh, I can go really far. As you saw it earlier, I got uh, 80 kilometers on pedal assist one out of one battery. Um, so that gives me a pretty good range. All right, guys, Norma Gregor on the side of Gwai for our own adventure. Take care.